Hello and welcome back to IT Master Tech News Channel. Today we will continue the our Linux series installation on the eight years old Dell XPS L321 laptop. Currently it's a Linux Mint installed on the machine, which is performing very well. And today we will do the other installation, uh, Zorin Distributive which is the another Debian Ubuntu mixed uh, Linux, which is well known as the Mac OS and Windows uh, similar desktop experience and can be very useful to see if it's running well on this uh, Core i5, SSD 128 and 4GB laptop, 8 years old laptop. This one is, as you can see, this is the Linux Mint. This is running very well and everything is fine till now. Let's create a bootable USB of Zorin distributive and then continue. So we are here now. We put the USB drive uh, to the laptop and then we run Rufus, which is the USB bootable creation tool. We select the image already downloaded it's under my linux distributive and we choose zorin os 15.2 and then we leave as it is and then hit start and it will ask right as a iso image and it will say that everything will be destroyed and now it's creating the bootable usb as you can see usb light is blinking which means uh, data transfer is happening and here as well you can see that it's creating let's uh, wait the usb drive will be ready and we will move on for the installation so the process is uh, going to finish soon as you can see it's a 94 92 and uh, 8 point percent copying iso files and I think it will be ready very soon and then we can move to the uh, interesting point installation of the Linux Zorin OS so it's a 99 please wait and ready we just hit close and take out the flash drive of course after rejecting it Okay, so we are back to our laptop, our test environment, and we insert the USB flash drive to USB port, and then we restart the machine. And wait for restarting. After it will be restarted, we need to push the F12 button for this type of laptop. It will not work for any laptop and we enter the boot menu and choose USB storage device and then hit the enter, try or install Zorin OS we need to this, try or install Zorin OS okay there are other options with the NVIDIA drivers check installation medium before installation but we directly go to installation USB flash drive is blinking, it means the process is going in the back end. Let's see what will the Zorin OS installation menu will uh, show us. So the pointer is appeared already. Okay. Try Zorin OS, you can try it without installation and you can install. For our case, I will say install is the better. Just the, my touchpad stopped working. I don't know why this happened, but for the elementary OS, something happened as well. Uh, touchpad was freezing like this. Okay. Install Zorin OS. Language is English. Everything is okay. I don't want to connect Wi-Fi network right now. 
Okay. And uh, this touchpad thing is getting annoying. But let's hope we will reach to the place where we want to. Is there a way to use the tub? No. Okay. We don't want connect, then continue. Install first party, that's okay. And then continue. We are doing the installation without connecting to the any internet network, in this case to Wi-Fi. And let's wait and see how the process is going. Installs Linux OS alongside, we don't need the Mint. We need to erase disk and install Zorin OS only. But there is an option, as you can see, we can keep both of them. But in this uh, installation, I will prepare not uh, do the installation for both and leave clean installation. Erase disk and install. It will say that everything will be deleted. We agree because this is a test environment. Let's leave as it is New York time zone. It didn't get time zone because of not connected to the Wi-Fi. And here is we reached the username. Let me type and we can come back. Username and password and we continue. Okay, so installation is going now. Copying files, Zorin OS 15. And let's this process to go on and we will back when it's reached to the 100% and we'll try the Zorin OS. Bear with me guys, see you soon. So we reached a place when the installing system is happening. So everything is copied from the flash drive and now it's retrieving some other things. And configuring target system, detecting hardware, and configuring hardware. I assume we are reaching to the final part and uh, Zorin OS will be ready for the first boot up. Coming back soon. So guys. the system is already, installation is completed and it's ready to restart now. We hit this button and then we remove the flash drive and wait for the first boot up. Let's see how the Zorin OS is booting up on the Dell XPS L321. So there is a Zorin OS logo and the first boot up. Okay, typing password. And it's booting up, very first time. This laptop is pretty old, 8 years old. And still, it's running smooth. Yeah, here is the menu. It's very similar to the Windows and Mac OS. They make it more user-friendly, not uh, as the other Linuxes. And as you can see, it's pretty nice there is a firefox default browser installed there is a files it's like a file explorer on the windows and i assume this is the so yeah software is the part when uh, it needs a internet we are not currently connected and if we go here and we go to system tools i think we can find settings and then we will find the yeah we can connect to the network and this part has the bluetooth appearance notification let's see the appearance is the lock screen background everything is very similar like a uh, windows os this is it guys please leave comments if you want to see any other 
uh, Zorin OS installations and the next one will be the uh, Linux MX which is the best from the these distributives. Stay well, stay cool. Peace guys. Thank you.